Hey guys, how's it going? So today in this video, we're going to be installing the NVIDIA R400 catback exhaust. But before that, I'd like to do an unboxing video of what's inside and what to expect. Uh, just so you know, in case you want to purchase one yourself. Yeah, I know I didn't stay stock for too long. Life is too short to stay stock. So I decided to go ahead and pick one up. But yeah, here we are. So hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get into the unboxing. All right, so we lift up the hood here. Let's see what we got. So then we need the hardware here. So I'm going to put this off quick. There we are, we got our gaskets, we got our bolts as well, and of course the NVIDIA sticker. Um, yeah, it's really good to include all the gaskets because I was hoping um, I didn't have to go buy any. Yeah, hardware. Here we got this packed material. Helps keep it protected while shipping. Just beat this off to the side. The uh, whole setup is just crammed right into this box. See here. Here's our mid pipe. These are beautiful welds, I must say. Check that out. So shiny. Yeah, it looks good. Let's go on to getting the other stuff out of the box. Here's a look at the wide pipe. Love this logo here. Looks awesome. And now we have the two mufflers. Arguably the best part about this exhaust. Uh, this is what kind of keeps it relatively tame. Uh, I think it's supposed to be quieter than an M1, uh, but a little louder than the Q300. So hopefully that's the case. Wow, this looks... Man, this looks good. Probably one of the best exhausts I've ever bought, to be honest. Wow. So here's everything out the box. I must say it is absolutely beautiful. They did a really good job packing it inside this. So here's what we got. We got the mufflers, one and two, mid pipe and the wide pipe, as well as the hardware right there. All the gaskets and bolts you'll need. That concludes the unboxing. I know it wasn't much. There's really not a lot in the box. Uh, what you see behind me here is what you're gonna get. And yeah, we're super excited to install this. Hopefully the sound is pretty good. I heard with the noise level, it's in between a Q300 and an N1. And I think that should be perfect for what I want. I want something that's loud, but not crazy droney. I mean, if there's a little bit of drone, I don't really mind at this point because all my exhaust setups in the past have been pretty droney and eventually you just get used to it, so it's no big deal. But anyway, yeah, one good last look. Everything all laid out, everything's beautiful. Very, very high quality. Definitely get what you pay for. So let's just get right into the install. All right, so next day, time to install the R400. Guess first, I'm gonna take the muffler off. Just check up the rear. I'll go ahead and take the mid pipe. Definitely one of my least favorite parts about working on a car is working on it after it has been sitting in the rain. Just in case anyone else happens to want to put a WX exhaust on their Impreza, you need hangers that can twist. Because the hangers on the car, they're not in line with the hangers on the mufflers. So you need this to make the, uh, the hangers mount up properly. So I think what I'm gonna do first is actually bolt up the wide pipe to the mid pipe. Because I think it's gonna be easier if I have them connected before I go ahead and just try to mount up the mid pipe. I still can't get over how beautiful this exhaust is. Look at that. Oh man, got the nice NVIDIA logo just laser etched in there. Pretty, pretty sweet. All right, got the mid pipe all mounted up and holy crap, that's gonna look awesome with that uh, NVIDIA logo just kind of chill in the back there. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. So it's just time now to put the mufflers on. Give it that first start. So 
here's one just kind of half mounted on there but did not realize these uh kind of had a little bit of an angle to it but you know i think i like it so i got everything mounted up and wow this looks awesome look at that like that is nice um and i'm ready for the first start actually i'll just give it a quick wipe down and then i'll give it a first start check for leaks and yeah let's check it out all right let's get to the first start let's see what this sounds like <laughs> First impressions, um, it is a awesome sound, first and foremost. Uh, a little bit louder, but I think it's just breaking in. Um, it is awesome though, I love this sound. I'll give it a couple reps in here. Yeah, I miss this so much. This was my favorite sound ever. Like the whole deep Subaru rumble, that is what made me fall in love with Subaru. So now that I have it back, it is amazing. It's so much better than that straight pipe setup. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys a sound clip. It, it's, it's awesome. Just stick around. Uh, I'll throw some sound clips right after this. So I think that about wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Overall, I've driven this for about two days. Um, audio level, it's definitely a little bit quieter than the N1, but by no means is it a quiet exhaust at all. Cabin drone, definitely a little bit there on the highway, especially at like around 20, 2,500 RPMs. Um, that's to be expected though, it's really not that bad. If you're used to a kind of loud exhaust already, uh, this wouldn't be a problem to be honest. Um, just to remind you guys, I do have Catalyst Angle Link headers, so that does kind of add to the audio level a little bit. But regardless, the drone's bearable. Driving around town, it's no big deal. Cold start, it's a little loud, uh, but that's, I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> um, it's a nice tone, very deep signature Subaru Rumble. My favorite thing ever. Uh, definitely very happy with that that I have it back. It's so much better than that straight pipe setup. That was awful Honestly looking back that was like not the best thing I did to this car I mean, I love the quad tips, but it wasn't the best Wasn't the best decision, but so yeah that concludes today's video I'm still getting used to talking to a camera, so please bear with me So I also want to thank everyone that has subscribed so far and has given me feedback that is awesome i didn't really expect anyone really to want to subscribe but yeah, this is fun for me i don't care how many people want to watch i mean i think it'd be cool just to look back on some of these videos see what i've done like how i've progressed but for those who still want to watch um thank you so much i uh, really appreciate the feedback and yeah i'll try to keep you know pushing content out there i mean i picked a bad time to start a car channel it's about to be winter time but you know it's all right 
uh, I'll figure something out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe, like, favorite, whatever people do nowadays. Uh, follow me on Instagram at will.kgfx. And I'll just catch you guys in the next video. Alright? Peace out.